Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Weather News Happens or Not show. Now, in the last episode here on the Weather News Happens or Not show, we introduced to y'all the new set. We're on a new set. This is the second time that, we're me that we've filmed in it. We're going to be filming in it tomorrow as well for the tabletop video that we plan on doing. We yes. talked about that in the last episode as well. But we also watched episodes 19 and 20 of Kuga, which were better than what we've seen so far yep. uh, because we just started the middle of the show. Yes. And those are probably the best two that we've seen so far, I would say. Um, but, you know, Kuga's been pretty good so far. We're not even halfway through it. We're getting close to halfway through it. Because today we're going to be watching episodes 21 and 22 today at the end of the video. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a warm-up segment. We're going to try to do this little warm-up segment um, in every episode. We're going to try to do something mm. to start before we go into the main part of the video. Just, you know, going to make you wait a little bit. Got to entice you a little bit. Uh, but go check that video out be at the top of this video um, that came out last week. Uh, before we get into the warm-up and explaining what the warm-up segment is, we like to address some comments that we've gotten on some videos <laughs> um, because uh, it's quite funny and if you commented on those videos, um, which the guys commented like two or three times on different videos, he'll probably comment on this one again. Um, I'll let... Uh, Dawson look it up if it'll pull up. It'll pull up. Um, and then I had a response to that comment. I didn't I don't like to respond to comments like that just because one I responded once. You did, but yours made sense. Yeah. And what I mean is like if you respond, it could go either way. You respond to it and you look like an idiot and it's cringy. Or you respond to it and it makes sense. And that's the only way that you can do it. And so it's kind of hard to respond to them. Yeah, it's hard to respond to them uh, the right way unless you want to get laughed at. So, But we've had some... Oh, this is not the first time we've dealt with it. We started dealing with these comments back in October when we started reacting to Common Rider. Yep. So uh, we've also gotten some suggestions to react to... Uh, yeah, we did a whole episode, like a segment of us talking about them, so, mm -hmm. I mean, it is what it is, um, but we had some comments of people suggesting stuff to watch, uh, we got suggested, one was like an anime. yeah, one was a, the Japanese, the original version of Voltron, I believe, oh. um, from 1979, um, but so, if you see that on a future poll, you can vote for that if you want to, um, Okay, well, this one's being really fa faster for some reason. Um, but you can go vote for that at some point. Um, I believe another thing that was requested that I wrote down was uh, the new season of Common Rider, Common Rider Gav, which just is about to start. If not, it's already started. What? What's the anime? Somebody actually commented about it a long time ago. Mm. And we actually saw the figure of it at the hobby shop. But what's the anime with the big robot? Gundam? Is that what I think so? It's like the white robot with the gold. Robot yeah, the robot. ones that we saw at the store. That's mm -hmm. Gundam, yeah. Okay. Special or like space suit something Gundam. Hmm. I can't remember. You're gonna come you're gonna make fun of us for that, but I know it's Gundam. And I remember one of my friends in high school showing me a movie of that and I thought it was pretty cool. Hmm. It was like an anime. It was pretty cool. Somebody actually just commented on your on the last video we did 11 hours ago. Uh, ha ha ha, this channel still do the reaction after being a public enemy of Toku fans in the entire world. I don't believe this. I'm here just want to comment, not for watching the video. Well, you did click on the video to comment on it, so uh, you did watch the video. That was not the comment that I was going to read, but... Um, yep, we're still... I love when people do that once... Once again, shared opinion thing. So if you're watching this and you've got your opinion that's hateful and you want us to shut up, how about you shut the hell up? <laughs> so we're going to talk about this and Amen. share our opinion <laughs> since y'all want to keep sharing y'all's. But y'all want to sit there and say that where it's like, oh, they're going to keep doing this, that, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, we're going to keep doing it because we like watching it and we're going to keep doing it. I could say the same thing to y'all of the fact of y'all just going to keep saying hateful comments for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, freedom just, of speech, man. Yeah. Uh, this is the comment that was six days ago, pretty much right when this episode came out. Um, you're still doing this, question mark. You should just stop doing this. You're not welcome in the fandom. First of all, the first thing that I thought of when I read this comment was I we never asked for to be accepted into the fandom. I don't think anyone should be accepted. Didn't realize I needed your permission. Stupid permission. Yeah, your permission to be in the fandom. Um, we everything that we like, like Power Rangers and Super Sentai and Marvel and movies in general. We don't any of that stuff. Nobody needs to have permission to be in it. Uh, if you it's like kind it, of you like it. if you like it, you like it. Kind of dumb that you're. I think it's kind of dumb. I might get into a whole you moment here. Because, because it quite frankly pisses me off. Because you get into a whole entire thing of you, y'all want people to join your fandom, your little you know Super Sentai Common Rider group. Might as well not. You shouldn't comment stuff like that, telling people, yeah, we don't want you here. Kind of makes people not want to join it, don't you think? So, I mean, it's really dumb if you said that about anything else, period. It's kind of stupid. But. I know I did look up and I did some research on the things, but one of the, I think it's the guy that just posted 11 hours ago, but on his profile, he only has one follower. Cool. Um, and we've been doing it for 10 years, so. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, this, uh, one of the guys on the last, well, that wasn't the last episode, it was an episode way back when, was talking about, did you not know that the Garangi tribe speak their own language? At the time of the broadcast, there were no subtitles, so I could not understand what they were saying. Talking about the monster people. Which we assumed yeah. that they have their own language because they're not from there. Mm -hmm. So. And then we, we still get comments on that one video, <laughs> the original video. Um, this one's on the all the Super Sentai Team Henshin's one. This is probably the longest comment I've ever seen. Um, you guys know that you you making fun of Japanese right by mocking what they're saying, and yes, people make fun of terrible stuff that actually happened, which is so wrong. Like, why would you make jokes about people actually died, which is kind of like making fun of their family, too, at the same time? because they lost someone they love in a terrible accident or whatever, and you guys are kind of one of them right now because you're making jokes of death no matter if it happens in the show or not. That doesn't mean you have to make fun of it. Like, have some respect, and I notice that a lot of people do this where they make stupid jokes when a show is showing something that people don't talk about for some reason, so they make stupid jokes instead of talking about it because it's dark or deep or whatever the case is. I remember reading that for the very first time and not knowing what the crap was said. And I'm surprised they even read that in one go. You must be. You must never go to comedy shows. <laughs> Apparently not. But um, don't ever watch a comedy anything ever. Again. <laughs> That's the way that you think. But yeah, those are some of the comments. Um, and don't afraid. Don't be afraid. Just because we're doing it now, don't be afraid to ever comment anything on our videos. They won't be. Um, a bunch of idiots. <laughs> I, I'm saying that because we're reading out people's comments right now. We'll do it as much as we want to, and. Uh, yeah, we just wanted to respond to a lot of those things. People were like, oh, they'll never respond to this comment. They didn't respond to it on here or respond to it in person in video form. We like the shout out the idiots. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, uh, be before we're going to get right into um, the warm-up segment, uh, we're going to try to come up with more ideas for these little intro segments that we're going to do. This one's pretty simple. You know, we've done ranking Power Ranger suits in shows and teams. We've done ranking Marvel movies. We've done ranking our own films and ranking our characters and all sorts of stuff. We've done a lot of ranking things, and we haven't done them in a while. But this is not your ordinary ranking system, your ranking video. Today, this is the first episode of a segment I like to call Thumbs Up or Thumbs Down. Very simple. We're going to say a movie, and if we like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and explain why you don't like it. Or you can explain why you do like it. Ta -da. Either way, it's a basically a way to talk about different movies. Um, you also had your neutral. 
Yeah, and if you have never seen it, don't do anything. Yep. But if it's also neutral, like Dawson said, you can do a sideways neutral. Just be like, eh, I yeah. kind of liked it. <laughs> eh, you know. Some but, parts I like, some parts I didn't. Yeah. Uh, but if you want us to do uh, what certain types of things that you want us to do for thumbs up, thumbs down, let us know in the comments down below. It'd be very much appreciated. But today our category is action movies. Ta-da. Which me and Dawson have watched a lot of those. And that's the only thing I could come up with to for a specific category. That works. So we're getting all these movies from, according to Variety.com, the top 50 best action movies of all time. We might also be reacting to the list itself while we do this. Hmm. So, here we go. We're going to kick it off. Uh, that's not the right thing to click on. Um, uh, we're going to kick it... Come on. We're going to kick it off with the first movie. If we can get there. Wherever. Oh, it's a James Bond movie. The Spy Who Loved Me. Never, Never watched, seen it. But... Never seen it either. This, I feel that's what I was saying earlier off camera. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of these. I haven't. I actually haven't seen a whole lot of the old James Bond movies. I only seen the one that has Sean Connery in it, mm. and then I watched, of course, all the ones that has Daniel Craig. In it. I've seen the very first James Bond. Yeah, and it's pretty good. James Bond. So, uh, on to the next one. We've got Top Gun Maverick. I've never seen it. That's good. I've never seen the first one either. So, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's good. <laughs> Everybody was, talked about it. It was a plain movie. Yeah. So, I mean, it was good. Everyone, like, I felt like it was very overhyped because think, it was getting all these awards and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was good for what it was. I think it was a little... The whole chemistry between Rooster and Maverick, about the whole thing about how Rooster's dad died in the first movie and whatnot, I feel like it was like... Yeah. I feel like it was shoved in some areas, uh, and it's gonna like. I mean, yeah, it sucked, but it really wasn't his fault. So why are you still blaming him? I just think it's funny that the second one got feels like it got more success than the first mm -hmm. one, which kind of doesn't really make any sense to me. But, nah, who knows? You know, whatever. Uh, next one, The Fugitive. Never seen it. Never seen it. I want to see it though. I've heard about it though. Mm -hmm. uh, just again, just we, a lot of these we have not seen. So. Mm -hmm. Vanishing Point sounds very fascinating. Never seen it. Never seen it though. Um, <laughs> Hero that also looks interesting. Never seen from it from 2002. Never seen it. Um, Rambo: First Blood Part Two. I've never seen any of the Rambo movies. Love it. I love all Rambo. I love that. I love how they picked that picture of him. <laughs> Boo. For that. But yeah. But yeah. The two. The Day of the Jackal. Never seen don't even it. know what's happening in that picture. You spray paint a car. Yeah, it like. looks like it. Uh, the Born Identity. From what I remember, I liked it. I've got to watch it again, but it was good. I remember. I remember it. All those movies being good. Yeah, it was good. I think, from what I can remember. Uh, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. That's a horrible title. I'm what? telling you that. That's a bad title. Right there. Uh, Justices is about to come out. Uh, that's probably the point, <laughs> I would imagine. I'm going to say, don't know. Don't yeah, know I've never seen, seen it. it. The Warriors. I love it. Warriors, Warriors is great. The Warriors is such a great movie. I have the video game, and I've played the video game, too. And I didn't know there was a video game. It's great. Um, I In high school, I think, I told Dawson that we should do a film based off The Warriors, because mm -hmm. I thought it was so... The whole gang mm -hmm. stuff was really cool. But also, it's like one of the most, like, story-wise, simple yep. films. Because it's literally just a group of people running around New York. Yep. Trying to get to uh, Coney Island. So, um, Beginning scene of that movie is, like, one of the best beginning scenes ever. Where the guy gets shot. Mm -hmm. Spoilers. Um... <laughs> The Raid, 2011. I've wanted to see that one. Never seen it. That one, it's the one guy who like takes on a bunch of people oh. in a building, I think is what it is. Oh. I'm not entirely I sure. Seen. I've heard it's good, though. Hmm. Um, Duel, 1971. That I think that's Steven Spielberg's first movie. I haven't seen it. I believe. I haven't seen it either. Hmm. Um, Inception. Love it. Inception's great. Love Inception. Um, the ending, That's true. E even greater. <laughs> um, 
the cast for that one is so funny to me. Because, it's different. It's really, it's very different. Because you get Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, mm -hmm. and then Joseph Gordon-Levitt is the very most mm -hmm. different person to put in there. Um, I was surprised when I watched the Batman movies for the first time that he was in that in yeah. the Batman series, which I think is just funny. Mm -hmm. He was in the last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but in that, he was in that universe, period. Yeah. And I thought it was hilarious, even more hilarious, when they're going to make him Robin. Yeah. Uh, which is... The next Batman. Yeah, even like, more yeah. funny. <laughs> I thought his character... Dark Knight Rises will probably come up on here, but I thought that his character was useless yeah. in that movie. Because he just kind of pops up mm -hmm. or whatever. All right. Uh, next, we've got Once Upon a Time in China Part 2. There's a part one. <laughs> Never seen it. All these pictures make every all of this look fascinating. <laughs> what is this? Once Upon a Time? I've saw it once upon a time. Casino Royale. Never seen it. You know what's hilarious right. is I've only ever seen two James Bond movies in my entire life. Huh. The first one and the last one. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah, the very first one with Sean Connery and No Time to Die, the ca most recent Casino one. Casino Royale, actually, I'm going to give that a, okay. a middle. Because like there was parts in it that was kind of like... Mm. What's going on here? Kind of let's, yeah. Let's 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 get to it. Kind of boring. Come on. And then That's kind of what No Time to Die feels like too. No. Yeah. Because it takes forever to get to the Rami Malek stuff. Yeah. Yeah. To me, it did. His character was kind of dumb. To me, he just kind of just gets killed off. Also, the ending to that movie is also stupid. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> I remember sitting there, me and my mom went to watch it, and I remember when that happens, where the, he gets nuked, and, and me like, and my mom was like, "He's not supposed to die." <laughs> Why? And he could have just ended it right there. Right. Um, the Black Pirate. Never seen. That it. looks very interesting, though. The Black Pirate. That looks very interesting, actually. Interesting. Um, okay. Uh, Fast Five. Never seen it. I need to stop. Movies. They do. I've only ever seen Fast 9 with John Cena, and that was the only reason why I watched it. I'm going to give it a middle because the Fast and Furious, I, I wasn't, I mean, they were cool, but I never really got, like, into the movies. Yeah. I liked Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Hobbs and Shaw was cool. Well, because that's a lot different than yeah. the Fast and Furious. I so. just, I don't know. It just has the characters, mm -hmm. and, but I, I totally get that. I like that movie, too. Um, Run Lola Run, good. I've seen it. Never seen it. It is one of the trippiest things you will ever watch. I I watched it because it's on that list that I've been watching um, or that I've been looking at watching movies, and it was on there. And when I saw it, I was like, I have never heard of this in my life. And then I watched it, and it is one of the trippiest movies ever. <laughs> so it's a foreign movie, ladies and gentlemen, but it's very trippy. Run Lola Run. Very trippy, but I liked it. Commando. Okay, I'm sorry. Arnold, you look like you're taking steroids. <laughs> uh, but no, I've never seen it. I've seen Commando. Uh, 31, The Dirty Dozen. Never seen it. Never seen it, actually. 30, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. I've never seen a Mission Impossible movie. Good, you can was. shun me if you want. I've never seen one. The Mission Impossible movies, they're like... I don't get why they're why it's so big. Once again, I think they're making way too many of them. It's gonna yeah. Well, the they're last fine. one they came out with made me think of when I saw the trailer. It made me think of like Fast and Furious. Yeah, they're making too many of them. But it, I mean, it was good for like what it was. It was just my only thing is the fact of like I just stop. <laughs> you know what they should have done? Is they should have made it into a show if they're going to make this many movies. Should have. I think the show would have But they've got many shows that are like this. Yes. Like Tracker. Tracker and um, oh, what's the name of that one movie? show? I used to watch it. Freaking. Oh, MacGyver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of shows that just go on for way too long. Uh, Supernatural. Well, I like Supernatural. I, yeah, well, I'm not saying that, but I'm not saying, I've only seen like the part of the first season, mm. but I'm just saying like there are shows that have way too many seasons yes. and that need to stop. The one show that I'm glad that it did have a lot of seasons because I got so hooked into it was Game of Thrones. True. 
But that felt like it took forever I for it to stop. It was great though. Show. I'm not saying, I'm not hating on Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. It's just watching it, it took me less than a month to watch it all, but it felt like an eternity because I had ads. Yeah. And that's why it felt like it took forever. I love Game of Thrones. This is going to sound so weird, but I love Game of Thrones so much that that is the reason why I'm so scared to watch House of Dragon. <laughs> oh boy. My I'm, brother is watching that. Really? Yeah. I'm so scared to watch House of Dragon because I feel like it's going to be trash and I'm going to hate that it's trash because I love Game of Thrones I've so much. I've heard people like it, so I don't know. I actually thought about watching the, um, or start watching, but start watching, um, The Rings of Power. Oh, Something yeah, like, I've heard that's awful, too. Yeah, just to see mm -hmm. what it is. <laughs> you know, I've seen both things, so I might try to watch both of them. I've thought about watching, uh, The X-Files. No. Yeah. Like, after I get done with Succession. Uh -huh. But, you know, with shows, I have a very difficult time because I just see them and I'm like, oh, I want to watch that. I want to watch that one, too. I want to watch that one. I want to watch that. I, got, I just finished season one of From. Oh, yeah. So you awesome. haven't watched two yet? I can't watch two. Because it's on MGM Plus. Amazon won't let oh, me watch it. Oh, just pay money. You just watch wow. it real quick. <laughs> That's what I did. I, I paid it for MGM Plus, binged it, and then I got rid of the subscription. <laughs> that might be what I do. It's, it's, a re it's really cheap, though. MGM Plus is? Yeah. Oh, well, it's like five ninety nine, something like that. I might do that then. Just yeah. To just to watch season two and then go back to Amazon and watch this thing. Yeah. I hate how they do that, though. you got season one, which is free on Amazon. Season two, you've got to pay for it. Yeah. And then season three is free. And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> or like the ones that are like, uh, all right, it's streaming on Paramount Plus with Apple TV. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. This is how we are in real life. We just, we, we just, we just go on and on and on. Um, 29, Foxy Brown. That these these make these make me want to watch these because they're just so. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, great. Uh, I know the whole movie is literally a uh, like a car chase the entire time. But it's an epic car chase. But it's very cool. Um, a lot of people, I've seen all the Mad Maxes now, and people give a lot of crap to Beyond Thunderdome, but I like Beyond yeah. Thunderdome a lot. I don't get, like, people say the second one's the best one, but I don't get the second one. I like the third one better. Yeah, Beyond Thunderdome was good. The first one is weird. The original is I weird. think the first one, the reason why it's weird is because you're just getting introduced into the life. But it's world, weird, too, because so. it's Mel Gibson's, like, first movie, mm -hmm. and he looks, his accent is awful. It's so, it's so, it's so bad. bad. <laughs> it's so bad. It doesn't get any better. Mm. I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, 27 Police Story. It's a Jackie Chan movie. Never seen it. I kind of wanted to see Bruce Lee in his movies. Maha. Yeah. Maha. Heck yeah. Yamaha. Uh, 26 Point Break. I want to see that. I haven't seen it. Um, and not the remakes that they've done, but the Patrick Swayze version. <laughs> um, United 93. This Never looks like a Lost ripoff. Yeah. Never seen it. Oh, I see Al Qaeda. So, oh, it's a oh, it's a 9/11 movie. No wonder I haven't seen it. And that's number 25. We're getting into like the 20s, and uh, we haven't seen none of these. We might look up some more movies <laughs> just because. Uh, Assault on Precinct 13. Never seen. I think I can't remember who made. It. Oh yeah, Jar John Carpenter. Yeah, he made this movie. That just looks like the introduction to a joke. White man, black man, Japanese man walk into a bar. They look like the uh, off brand of the A team. Yeah, they do. <laughs> um, Gladiator, 20, 23. Number 20, that's bull. 23? <laughs> that needs to be. That needs to be higher. Needs to be uh, like top five. <laughs> Gladiator is like. Love that. I think <laughs> Gladiator is like my number five. Because it was my number four until I watched There Will Be Blood. And then yeah. Gladiator's. He goes Truman Show, Dead Poet Society, Joker, There Will Be Blood, Gladiator, and then like Prisoners. Yeah, Prisoners is good. Prisoners is it? Prisoners is so good. It doesn't need to be that good, but it is. So freaking. But good. it is good. Um, they don't make movies like that anymore. No. Long Legs is probably the closest 
Long legs. Is just... Long legs is weird, but to me, the closest that you can get, it's like it, that movie's like Prisoners, but it goes over the line like yeah. times a hundred. The one thing that I just like always stuck with me with long legs was the fact of how symmetrical every single shot was. Like every shot, everything was in the middle. And it was just everything was like angled and symmetrical. And I was like, this is weird. <laughs> like, this is weird. I loved all the stuff that was like box TV. And yeah. I was like, that looks cool. I mean, just watch a Wes Anderson movie. The whole movie's yeah. like that. Always, and then that'll be that's even more impressive. Grand Budapest Hotel, that thing is in <laughs> that is a good movie, but um, Wages of Fear never 22, seen never seen it. Okay, uh, Heat, that's a good movie. I like that one. I think it's a little too I don't long. I think I've seen that. I think you like it. I, I may have seen it, but I don't, it's not ready to build. So it's I'm it's a little it. too long, but um, it's pretty good. Um, I, I kind of like to see it as two old men chasing each other. Oh, okay. Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Oh, well. Yeah. It's great. Great movie. Uh, watched it recently. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Never seen it. I've wanted to see it. Looks that. fun, though. It's won a lot of awards. Hmm. Put a lot of uh, Asian actors on the map, I'd say. Um, the Wild Bunch. 19 19- What? Where are we getting these from? Don't know. They're pulling them out of our rear ends. Never seen it. Uh, 18, Ben-Hur. I've always wanted to watch Ben-Hur. Oh, Ben-Hur, that's a good one. The original. I've always wanted to watch the original. It's good. Dawson's a historian. Yeah. So, of course. Um, Anything that comes to Roman stuff. Yeah. My brain is like... Terminator 2. Judgment. Love it. Way better than the first one. Hands down. I don't much much care for the the first one. I don't much care about the first one. No. Ever since I saw, and I get it, it was the 80s, but ever since I saw that stop-motion robot, I cannot, I cannot. Everybody's like, that that was great for its time. This looks like something I could do in my backyard. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, guys. Stop-motion robot. <laughs> in the 80s, it was just, you could tell it looked like not a real robot, but whatever. Um, 16, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Amazing. Love it. Gotta always give a thumbs up for Westerns. <laughs> Great. Love it. Love, I would love to make a film like that. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, we, we would just need... We basically did. It's called Bounty. True. <laughs> we did. Except that's in space. It's just in space. Um, 15, Hard Boiled. Never seen it. What is it? This looks like a Bollywood movie with the... Is he falling or what is he doing? He looks like he's like, cool uh... man. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, yeah, unlike the Bollywood movies where they have like... There's a scene I saw where there's like multiple Terminator looking men and they all like wrap around in a ball with their guns out and they all start shooting everybody. What? It is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Bollywood stuff is so We weird. need to watch like a compilation of weird Bollywood stuff because that stuff is wild. Oh, it's like Face Off. Oh, it's just Asian. John Woo, he does a lot of, yeah. The Adventures of Robin Hood, the original. Never seen the original. I want to see all of them. Because I know Errol Flynn's, like, the guy. Mm-hmm. The Robin Hood. Um, well, he was also, like, the Buccaneer yeah. character. Like, he was, like, uh, Johnny Depp of now, back then. Yeah. Um, 13, Kill Bill 1. Uh, I've wanted to watch the Kill Bill movies. I have not. I'll give it... Oh, you don't like it that well, much? Well, I... Yeah, it's one of those... It... I didn't even know you watched it. Kill Bill is one of those movies that it's iconic, so you want to watch it because it is like that yeah. iconic jumpsuit thing. And then the other side of you, you're just sitting there like, there's not an actual story here. <laughs> <laughs> there's not an actual story here. This is just... Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised by that. I'll have to see when I watch it. Like, it's good. Like, some of the, like, there's, some of the action stuff is cheesy. It's very, well, I guess that's the point. Yeah, it's very cheesy, but then it goes back to the whole fact it's like, I won't like go into depth about it so, so you can watch it, but yeah. there's some points where you're like, okay, so this is where the story's going, and then halfway through, you're like, what is the story? Like, you know, what, what is happening here? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Uh, 12, Goldfinger. 
Never seen it. I've never seen it either, but... I think he's got a gold finger. It's like one of the... <laughs> I think it's like one of the most iconic James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. I guess. Or the most uh, iconic Sean Connery one. Because I've heard that around. I don't know. Either that or I'm thinking of Austin Powers. I Austin don't Powers. Know. Gold member. Gold um, member. That's a good one. Um, speed? At number 11. Speed. Is that the one with the bus? It's got Keanu Reeves. Yeah, the one with the bus. That's good. I've never seen it. It's pretty good. You should watch it. I've, I've seen ads for it. Well, for Speed 2. Yeah, it's <laughs> but pretty, I've it's seen good. the poster for Speed Bo 1. Both of them are good. Uh, you watch it. it's good. <laughs> number 10, we're getting to the top 10 Bullet. Never seen it. I'm, again, where are we getting these from? I don't know. I'm curious to see what. It's going to probably be horrible because yeah. this is variety and a lot of time they don't, I don't think they know what they're talking about. Never seen that. Um, nine, Seven Samurai. Love it. Never you would it. love that movie. It's so good. Huh. Uh, it's, it's basically the movie, you know, I saw people, you know, it's like the greatest Japanese movie of all time, which it is. Um, at, well, as of right now that I've seen. Um, Everybody says, "Oh, it's 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 been like the basis for all like action movies and like hero stuff and blah blah blah." It's like the coolest thing ever. Huh. I'm gonna watch. With it. Seven Samurai saving a village, and it's awesome. Oh, pretty cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. And I'm not gonna tell you who dies because there's people that die. Huh. But it's very cool for the '50s. Um, number eight, Aliens. I liked it. I like Aliens. Aliens a better movie. I mean, that that they James Cameron did because yeah. that one is his movie, but the original is better, I think. I uh, my favorite out of all the like Aliens like series or yeah. whatnot is Alien vs Predator, mm. just because I love the story of it and I think it's so cool with the underground temple and all that stuff. The Aliens parts they're good. I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. I just think it's very repetitive. Yeah. That's what so, I'm saying. The first one is the better one mm -hmm. to me because it's actually scary. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying Aliens is not scary, but to me it feels like... And I'm not saying I don't like Aliens either. I like Aliens. But it feels like you see Alien, and then you see Aliens, and you can tell the difference because Aliens is Hollywoodized and the other one's not. Yeah. I would like to see the newest one that just came out. Yeah. Just to... I've see. heard that one's like the first one. Yeah. So, uh, just to kind of... It's got Dora in it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's got Dora in it. It's got a Is lot it of young... out now? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Go watch it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, the Matrix. Love it. Matrix is good. So good. Um, I remember... I've watched all the Matrix Matrixes now. Um, even the new one. The new one's horrible. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, but the, the... A lot of people give crap to the... To all three of them, but I love all three of them. Um, Matrix is good. The first one, obviously, is the best one, mm -hmm. but it was funny because I was going to watch it a long time ago, and then I got 15 minutes in, or not 15 minutes into I think I got to the beginning where he's in his room, mm -hmm. and then I didn't watch the rest of it, and then I watched it last year for the first time, the entire thing, and then when he gets into the, like, comes out of that, like, plasma bath thing and you see all that craziness I'm like dude this is a movie I'm gonna love <laughs> it's just great so set that makes sense seven should be higher but seven works six the French connection French I've seven. wanted to watch the French connection that's an Oscar winner for best film so it beat Willy Wonka <laughs> Willy Wonka came out that year that's why I always associate that movie with that Number five. Top five. Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee. I've never seen it. It's a good movie. I want to see a Bruce Lee movie. It's good. At some point. It's very, like, once again, it's a, like a very iconic thing. Like, it's yeah. It's what you would think of, like, okay, when you think Bruce Lee and you're like, what would a movie with Bruce Lee be? Enter the That's Dragon. Yeah. So. Enter the Dragon. Four, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Love it. Love every it's Indiana great. Jones film. They're all good. Love them. Now, since we're on the topic, which one's the best one? Indiana Jones? Out of the three. We're not counting the fourth and fifth one. Oh, so like Raiders of the Lost Ark? The Star, actual trilogy. Trimble, Temple of Doom, okay. Yeah, the trilogy. Um, I don't like to count, count the other ones. Because why would you? Because that's the actual trilogy. Yeah. So, whenever I was younger, I did like 
Temple of Doom for a mm. while. But after oh, just watching them over and over again, I just, just kind of... It, it, I always come back to my favorite always being Last Crusade. Mm. I, the third one? Yeah, I yeah. love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark is really good. It's just the iconic Indiana Jones film. I do love Raiders of the Lost Ark. But The Last Crusade with Sean Connery mm-hmm. and like everything, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah, I think the third one's my favorite one. It was funny because before I watched that one, the first, this one was my favorite one. Mm-hmm. And then I got to the third one and I was like, man, this one's better. <laughs> <laughs> this one's better than that one. But I used to like Temple of Doom just because I thought it was kind of. It is cool. good. It is good and cool, but then like after a while, it was kind of one of those things. It's like Temple of Doom is kind of weird. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Yeah, you're right. I'll tell you one thing. Those cult scenes are the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. The whole grabbing the heart, and all that stuff. It's like, I was what? like what movie am I watching? <laughs> this is Indiana Jones. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we're getting into the top three. Oh boy! I can only imagine what this is gonna be. Uh, number three, North by Northwest. I love it. It's a good movie. I think I've seen that. It's, very, it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. It's a very good movie. You watch it. Uh, yeah, I like this movie. I watched this not too long ago. Um, you don't know where it's going to go, and that's really cool. Oh. I like I like movies like that, especially for a 1950s movie. It's pretty good. Um, I wasn't expecting that to be on this list, but I'll take it. Whatever. Number two. Die Hard. That love it. That good. Very, it's if you think about it now, the story is very dumb. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go meet my wife in a building. Oh wait, there's a terrorist in here. I gotta save everyone. <laughs> but it's great because it's so simple. And it's, it's so simple. So it's just so iconic. It's good. And it is a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a Christmas. Movie. It is a Christmas movie. Just letting everybody. Know. Any movie that is set during Christmas time is a Christmas movie. All the Harry Potter movies are Christmas movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, they are. Make that official now. Number one oh boy. is is The Road Warrior. Oh, the second one. Yeah. We just talked about that one. I don't know about that. I don't think I would call it. I would switch that with Gladiator. Absolutely. Yeah. I would I would say Gladiator should be number one on this list. The, I get why a lot of people love the second one. Yeah. Um, don't know for whatever reason, but I'm not saying I don't like it. Uh, but it is a good one, but I don't really agree with the number one here. I, I don't like it. At all. No, it was. I'm, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Just, I liked it. I mean, it was good for what it was, but. It's not like the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like, like the that. Thunderdome one is definitely more Hollywoodish. <laughs> the first one is like we would do. Yeah. Except probably a lot more budget than what we would do. But still. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I have to compare something that's low budget, I always have to compare it to us yeah. because that's where we are. Um, I love when people are like, oh yeah, it's a low budget film. We're a no budget film. Yeah, yeah, no budget, man. I remember in high school when they were when Crib was like, "Yeah, put the budget down." I'm like, "We don't have one." What budget? <laughs> what are you talking I'm about? Gonna put down how much I pay for costumes. <laughs> no, uh, for but costume materials. There's the first segment of thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, we will try to do more of those. Uh, we might do uh, TV shows. We might do. Uh, that lasted 45 minutes. It did. I mean, well, it's because we went on and on about yeah. it. Um, but if you want us to do thumbs up, thumbs down for more things, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, we could do it for uh, uh, Common Rider, Super Sentai, all that stuff. It doesn't have to be... Marvel superheroes. Yeah, mar- anything. It could be people, movies, you name it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but now... We're going to get into what all of y'all have been waiting for, probably. Unless you skip to this part, then welcome. Um, we are going to watch episodes 21 and 22 of Cougar. Cougar. Yeah. Um, every single time we do one of these, I forget what the crap happened. So, <laughs> we'll find out. Um, okay. This episode is called Secrets. Again, we've learned not to read the title because it might not mean anything. 
but lately it has. Yeah. So we're gonna find out some secrets. If this thing will start, please. Secrets. Oh, moon. Moonshot. This Is that moon fake? Yes, it's, it's fake. Moving. It's fake. <laughs> because if you literally see it move, it's, it's it moves with it. Yeah. Um, the moon doesn't move like that. Uh, but the uncut version of this will be uh, on the community tab once this episode comes out. So look out for that. Way to start off. Is that moon fake? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, so they're after the vampire guy now. Oh. He was the third one. Yeah, he was the. Um, they fought. Yeah, he fought him in the third episode. Yeah, the spider was, was the guy after the like, spider. The spider was UFO one. Kuga white version was two, and the vampire guy was three. And then four was the red version of Kuga. Yeah. Which I think is hilarious. They didn't name him number one. I love how it took like 20 something episodes to bring him back. Right. Oh, where'd he go? What? He disappeared that quickly? Dun, 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 dun. Once again with the guns. That is the biggest moon I've ever seen in my life. And it's going over the tree. Did you see that? Yeah. It was going over the tree. Uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Since y'all are gonna be mean to us, we're just gonna flat out be pricks now about everything. <laughs> Forgot the record. Oh, <laughs> I'm cutting that part out. Recording now. <laughs> yep. It's okay. <laughs> if we wanna watch the bad moon again. Well, you got our reactions to it. That was different. What did it show? The, the, go back. Yeah. It's like as he's riding his motorcycle, it cuts to like a bunch of different clips. Like in the um, background. I guess it was good that I didn't record for copyright reasons. Yes, it. Oh. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. He doesn't have that bike anymore, does he? Well, he hasn't used it. Oh. He's got the bike, just the armor hasn't. <laughs> Done it. The armor's just been sitting in the lab. It's a human being now. It's a being. I just, I, whenever we do do our version of Kuga, do do, do you, <laughs> when we do our version of Kuga, I'm just wondering what the comment section's uh, gonna be. <laughs> we're gonna probably get ripped to shreds. Probably. I would imagine. Oh well. <laughs> Nicest ink I've ever seen in my life. It's the best you got. Next, he's flirting with that girl. He's got a last one. He's flirting with the. Um, I think they were trying to either hook him up with the girl that. You know the love triangle we were talking about oh, in the last yes. one? I think it's her, or they're talking about some other person. Which I'm surprised, because, like, why... I'd figure he would be going after her, the one that's, like, obsessed with Yeah, but he finds her weird, it looks like. Yes, so. She is very weird. <laughs> the episode with the present thing was kind of <laughs> I'm going to quit teaching. <laughs> I'm done. That's going to be the inside joke for this entire show. I'm going to quit teaching. Yeah, when you see a thing flying in the sky, I would imagine. You would think it's a problem. Because they want to? Okay. 
What do, this is probably fake. Where are we at? This is in that place. Oh, yep, you called it. Take <laughs> They got Hawaii yeah. stuff in there. Cool. They got Hawaii stuff at the pole pole. <laughs> I thought they were holding hands for a second. <laughs> she just flipped the switch like <laughs> pissed to <laughs> to even more. Oh, John. The guy who speaks English in the show. Sort of. The Kendall. Hey, this dude, hey, every single time I see him, he freaks me out. He looks like one of those skinwalkers. <laughs> Oh, was that girl again? Okay. That's an actual bed, shocker. Usually I sleep in the floor. That's the lab lady. I was about to say, if that was the little girl, I'm like, man, she ate fast. <laughs> Okay. Who hired you? <laughs> he seems like he'd be the guy in prison. Sure. I think that's him. <laughs> that's the guy. Wow, flower lady. Vampire dude. Back to one of these trippy scenes again. In the world? <laughs> Her hand looks like a tree. <laughs> Oh, my 
Princess Peach for a second. Well, she turned back. She was in like the red outfit. Well, no, she was like in oh, yeah, monster yeah, yeah, form. Yeah, yeah. She's also wearing a Princess Peach dress. Good morning. Wow, that looks the same. <laughs> Jeez. Where did you come from? <laughs> he just fell out of the sky. Can they just let anyone in here? Got him to jump up and fly like that. <laughs> did, uh, my thing is, did all the killing stop like between where people were killing people? Yeah. It's only the monsters now? Yeah. <laughs> That's convenient. Alright guys, this is the iPad 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing I know is that thing is living. <laughs> you know, let me, let me just whip out my blocky computer really quick. That'd be funny if it started like translating. You know? <laughs> it's like, wow. Hi. Ah, hello. Why don't you just call him? I need you now! <laughs> I'm ready. I know the scene we watched uh, on the final form henchins. We watched the scene of his final form henchin, and it's in the snow. Yep. I remember I watched that uh, He's behind him. clip, yep, I watched that clip back when I was watching and we had no idea. <laughs> no, we were like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh gosh! Runs into the no. wall. Not good to run in heels. Oh. He's taking a nap. You're giving away your plan. Why are you telling people? Oh, 
sir, you've got smallpox. <laughs> oh, this dude. This dude. Enjoy yourself while you can. I'm gonna go eat lunch. Okay. <laughs> Sir, you're speeding. I'm from. Hi. I'm gonna go 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I will say all their buildings look the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh my god! That'd have been cool if like they had him like up like that and he hits the uh, tower and there's like blood everywhere. It's like oh my gosh! Oh. That would have made it even ten times more realistic there. What the? What are we, what are we fondling? Oh. Oh, it's the M final and stuff. Who is that? It's a beam of light. It's the Gold Ranger. <laughs> it's the Gold Ranger. <laughs> Do we know this guy? For a second, I thought it was that officer, and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> that intimidates him, I guess. Okay, it's. I feel like it's supposed to be somebody important. <laughs> I'm glad you learned that, because we all know they're not. He's, they've been doing that since episode one. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! They all have, but you just haven't heard them. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm so freaking confused. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> moon, fake moon. It should be a different looking moon. <laughs> it's not the shape of the moon. It should be full, sort of. No, I don't even know. If it was actually different. I think we're best. <laughs> Look, mommy, it's Santa Claus. Hope is going. No, it's Matt that's moving. <laughs> uh, Godai crashes. <laughs> To be continued. What is the line? <laughs> she said that. 
sir, what's with the hearing? Uh oh, cuckoo time. Yeah! That was a better move. More fun time. What's up with the strobe and lights? Uh, aesthetic, I don't know. Looks cool. Maybe. 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 It's a mini lighthouse. You got him. You got him with a one two. Hit him with a one two. Hit him with something. I don't know. Just uh, those wings look like they're made out of paper. Yeah. All right, hit him with the trip. <laughs> Kick him right in the face. Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna jump up in the air, grab him by the throat, and choke slam him. <laughs> you know what his final form should have been instead of. I mean, I like the final form that we saw, but his final form should have been like all gold. Yeah. He's going in the hole. Yeah, I was say, did he go in the hole? Pennywise, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you like to stand there and turn around all of a sudden. Hey, hi, 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 what in the world? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Choke <flat. laughs> What? Rider kick already? Here he goes. Rider kick. Uh oh. Oh, it's the guy with the scarf. <laughs> it looks like he has, a, he has a blazer on with a scarf. That's weird. This better be somebody important, because I don't know who this is supposed to be. Damn, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Is it another Kamen Rider or something? Probably. Oh, come on! <laughs> Okay, episode 21, what are we thinking? I don't know. No, no. me neither. <laughs> that was a very confusing one, I, I'll say I that. I have no clue what was going on the entire time. <laughs> no, but I figured when they were like doing the, you know, flipping the coin and stuff, like this has got to be somebody that's important or that people know, and I'm like, I don't, I still don't know who that is. It's but probably another comrade. Another, yeah, another comrade, but I don't know who. I don't know, it's got to be evil. He's working with the bad guys. Yeah, so, I mean. unless he's playing them. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, next up, we've got episode 22, Game. Okay. Just Game. That's it. Game. I love how the next episode's uneasiness. Uneasiness. But we're going to be watching episode 22. I'm uneasy right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening at all. But uh, <laughs> that was a very confusing one. But now, we're moving on to episode 22, called Game. If it'll load. Load. I just wonder who that guy is. Hmm. At this point, that's all I care about. He almost ran him over with a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why his rider kick wasn't working. It's a show. It's a show. Making up a random reason for it to not work. Doing something random and then not explaining why. Yeah. For sure. Got a lot. Come on, thingy. What do we need for dinner? <laughs> I have no idea. We've got to talk about that off camera. We're having technical difficulties with this episode, so we're just going to end the episode here because I don't really want to deal with it. Um, Next week, because... <laughs> yeah, so uh, we would watch episode 22. This is the first time that's ever really happened where it's been this bad. We left off on a WTF. Moment. Yeah, really. Uh, we honestly could easily look it up, but I don't want to. So um, Curious to see. Yes, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, today, you know, we did 
thumbs up, thumbs down. Yep. We might do another one of those. I had another idea for a warm-up segment to where who knows who you, who bed better. Did you just stroke out uh-huh. on me? <laughs> I did. I did have a stroke. <laughs> my lord, I had a stroke there. Um, let me slow my words down of uh, who knows each other better. So we'll get like a whiteboard and we'll say what is Dawson's favorite color and then I write it down and then if I show it and then I get it wrong I don't get a point. If I get it right, I get a point. Is it always like the thing like we both have It's like the newlywed game. Okay, so like we both have whiteboards and then there's thing and then like I write down my answer and you write Well in this case we only have one because because I have the one the person that shows their answer and then you just guess. Um, actually you would write your answer show it and then I would say the same thing. Uh, we also want to do the newlywed game on here with Dawson and Caitlin um, at some point. Mm-hmm. And, and I heard Dick Flanagan's going to host that one. So oh. that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, then you'll get to see who knows. The husband or wife knows each other more. Who knows? It'll be great to find out. Very um, interesting. Very interesting to find out. Um, but that's going to do it here for us. Uh, like I said, did thumbs up, thumbs down, and we watched episode 21 of Common Rider Kuga. First time we haven't watched two episodes in a long time. Um, we used to just watch one. Yeah. And today we watched one. But you gotta love the internet. I know we ended off on a weird episode because I'm still trying to. Yeah. I'm really process. curious to figure. I'm. My feeling is it's either going to be. I think it, it, it could only go either way. It's either a common rider from the pet because and this show does not have any more common rider but that common rider. Yeah. So I know it's not another common rider, like another one for the season. But it could be a past one, or it could be actually it could be three things. The second thing it could be a monster mm-hmm. that no one cares about, or it could be someone that doesn't matter at all yeah. and is somehow important and just make now. it important, and then they just he's important now, and we don't understand who he is. Yeah. But that's going to do it for us. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like down below. Uh, comment what things you want us to react to and what things you want us to do on the show next. We've talked about wanting to watch Sing Hom on the channel. We might do that in the next episode, maybe, yeah. if the internet will work. Um, we sure. might just do that. Um, and we thought about reacting to all sorts of different things like Ultraman and Dragon Knight and all sorts of different movies and stuff so just let us know in the comments down below if you want us to do gaming again because we haven't done that like an actual gaming thing in a that while. is true we haven't done uh, if y'all want us to play Minecraft in the back rooms again yeah I know let I'm, us know right now I'm hung up on the new Space Marine game yeah that uh, that you gosh, told me about so freaking cool yeah. uh, but we might play that too who knows um, but uh, most important thing you can do right now is to subscribe to the Weather Times on our channel, we are still sitting at 700 and I believe 16 subscribers yep. uh, on the road to 800 subscribers. I'm probably going to be saying that Trying to. <laughs> a lot, probably. I'll be saying on the road to 800 for a long time because it takes us a while. I need to just make another Bigfoot film and hopefully it explodes. Yeah, there you go. You heard it here first. Confirmed. Bigfoot film coming soon. Which I did write a whole script for it. There you go. We just need a... <laughs> Dawson's just giving y'all the inside details here of our different projects. Um, my name is Trace Parks. My name is Dawson Mullins. See you guys in the next episode of the Weather News Times and Not Show. Bye bye.